Hey, I'm Quinn, your favorite plumber, here to show you how to save five strokes off your golf game. Hey, I'm Quinn, here to tell you how to fix an emergency leak. I have two different temporary fixes, two methods. Let's get into it. What I have here is a pipe we cut out from a customer's house. It had a pinhole leak that we were called in after hours to go repair this. Over time, copper pipes will wear down, the interior wall will thin and can cause pinhole leaks, which will spray water. You notice the pinhole right there. As industry professionals, if we run into a leak like this at a commercial building and we're not able to isolate the water or shut it down because they need to remain in operation, we'll perform a temporary fix and then after hours, we'll shut down the water and make the permanent fix. If you're a homeowner and this happens at night, this is gonna show you how to um, get it temporarily repaired so you don't have to pay your after hours fee. This repair can hold for weeks in case they're booked out to when you can get um, a professional over to make a permanent fix. The two methods I'm gonna show you today is one using a gasket kit and the second method is gonna be using Blue Monster's Alpha compression tape. The first method is using the gasket kit. Um, I purchased this at Ace Hardware for $3.99. And this comes with just three, you know, just squares of gasket. We're gonna wanna use the rubber. And the second thing you're gonna need is a hose clamp. Um, you wanna make sure the hose clamp is somewhere around the same size as the pipe you're repairing. So this one's a one inch hose clamp. So the first thing you do is take the hose clamp and roughly the same width, we're gonna sketch out a square to cut this gasket in. It doesn't have to go around the whole pipe. We just want it about halfway. Next, we're gonna take some scissors and cut the gasket, cut our square off. We're gonna take our rubber gasket, place it over the pinhole leak, put the hose clamp on it, and then we're gonna finish tightening it the rest of the way. All right, we're gonna to wanna to tighten it pretty snug. However, if there's a pinhole leak in a pipe, it means the interior pipe's starting to thin. So make sure you don't crush the whole pipe. So don't over tighten it, but get it tight enough for it to hold. The final product will look something like that. This is a great method and we've had these temp ones hold on both hydronic lines and domestic water, so your water lines, um, for weeks. We've had great luck with them. So the next option we're gonna look at is Blue Monster Temporary Leak Fix Compression Tape. Um, this is a silicone tape with no adhesive, um, but it's meant for these temporary repairs. So you want about six to eight inches. Well, let me get a real, we're gonna need real scissors. So the first thing we wanna do with the tape is make sure there's no burrs, cause that can uh, ruin the tape. So we wanna clean the area. Make sure it's clean and free of debris. Next, we want to take about eight inches of the tape. Take it off here. So it's it's all silicone. Even though it's not adhesive, it does start sticking to binding to itself once wrapped. If you're able to shut off the water, you start with the tape directly over the hole. If the water is still pressurized and water spraying out of it, you want to start right next to the hole. In this case, obviously, we don't have pressure. So we put the tape over, press down firmly, and then stretch and start wrapping with that stretch tension on it and really stretch that all the way around. So we're gonna get a good wrap over the leak. Once we get, I kind of like to do two full rotations. Then we're gonna start going half tape diameter to the side and really finish that wrap. Notice I'm keeping the tape stretched the whole time and really, really stretching it out. That's what that compression is what causes the sealing. And then once you're done, really kind of make sure that tape is good and set. Once it's on there, they recommend taking another protective strip, maybe not quite as long, and just give it a wrap without the compression. And this is just a protective layer to protect that first wrap. So this is very little stretch on it and just kind of wrap it around to protect the fix. Once that's done, apply some pressure, make sure it's all molded together and boom.
that's the temp fix. All right, so we have our pinhole leak covered with the Blue Monster compression tape. We have the end caps and I have a hose adapter on here so we can apply some water pressure to our pipe and see if the tape's actually holding. Let's find out. All right, let's power it up. All right, no leaks. If I aim it this way and cut the tape, you guys gamblers? Maybe I'll stand back. Maybe you can really zoom in, huh? How'd we do? I think we didn't get the camera. That was a high risk, high reward shot. <laughs> and the gasket and the hose clamp hold as well. So both temporary fixes worked. In summary, these are temporary fixes, right? So these, this is not a permanent solution. This is to get you through the night or until we can shut off water to make a permanent repair. But that being said, they're lifesavers because if you don't have the right parts, you don't have the right tools or the business can't be shut down, both options can fix live leaks. We prefer the gasket method, not only because of the cost, $399 plus a dollar hose clamp, but the reliability on it is a lot better. It works on heating systems and domestic water. Whereas I mentioned earlier, the Blue Monster tape, um, you really need to clean the surface a little bit more before applying. And uh, we've had some issues on heating systems that uh, have a huge temperature fluctuation. Thanks for watching guys. And as all YouTubers say, don't hit the subscribe button, don't hit the like button, and don't comment below.